All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you. We're going to tear one of these apart. See what's inside one of these ant miners. Uh, this is a V9, but obviously the L3 and S9 and so on will pretty much be the same. So this is just a basic teardown to see what this looks like. So we're just going to unplug the fan here. And we're going to remove this fan here, then the cards should slide out. And I never tore one of these apart. This is actually brand new with a little, I don't know, maybe 10 hours of use on it, if that. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But we're going to do it. Because, you know, because we can. And as you can see... We still got the warranty tags on here, but bye bye warranty. Already had it too long anyway, so we're just going to go past that. The warranty, I think, is only good for a little bit, not too long on these. But I'm not totally sure. So, okay. So now that we have the uh, cover off, the fan off, let's go ahead and unplug these guys just to get these out of the way. So, by doing that, let's slide one of these guys in. Okay, so here we are. A lot of heat sinks, a lot of chips, that's for sure. We flip it over. We got this side here, same thing. Different type of heat sink, as you can see. These are a little bit darker. These are a lot lighter. Looks like all of it's aluminum. You would definitely pay more if these were copper, but uh, aluminum works just fine. We have our three uh, six pin connectors there. So, if we take this guy out, it's basically the same thing. So we're going to move this out, we're going to slide this guy out, then uh, as you can see, there's little tabs here on each side. So if we push them out, this board will come out. Which is nice, because everything's basically hot swappable for a quick and easy repair. <clears throat> so, works out really cool that they do that. So, we'll just slide this back in here. And there's little uh, grooves in here to slide this board back in. And we need the bottom one. So we're going to push that back in there like such. Alright, that's back in there as you can see. And we're just going to easily slide these back in because as you can see there's little grooves there a little track then we're just going to push these back in here <clears throat> without causing too much damage and nothing holds these in other than the uh, cover which is fine no need to really hold these in too tight then we just put this guy back on, put the fan back on, plug everything in, and we're ready to go. So, other than that, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll throw a link in the description. I'll take a couple pictures of the tear down here, put on my website, so people can get a little bit closer look. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.